girl, forget what you heard. Men are not visual, and I know a ton of them will say that, but they're just trying to gaslight you and justify their behavior that is oftentimes overly sexual and superficial and very much emotionally avoidant. And I want to let you know that if men were actually visual, they would have beautiful homes and be much more fashionable, but they're not. Women are. There is a part of the brain called the hippocampus, and what that part of the brain does, it's all about memory, long-term memory. Men use it for directions. Women use it to remember colors and details. That's why men are chasers and women are choosers. No, so you know like when you were growing up and your mom was like, please clean your room? She was asking that because it actually really disturbed her. My mother could not cook in a kitchen before it was cleaned because it was that disturbing. Women feel good around beautiful things. Men are, are looking and need directions to actually get their goal, right? They are hunters. So what does this mean in real life as it pertains to dating? It means that oftentimes when men approach you, they are hunting you. And so many women are like wanting to be approached and think that that's like a badge of honor. Please understand that hunters, just like in the National Geographic, they hunt the actual weakest prey, the prey that is unhealed. That's why I tell you, don't ever give the guy a, the time of day if he's approaching you in real life. If you're doing things that you have to do on an everyday basis, like get gas, shop at a mall, go grocery shopping. Those men are wildly unserious and they are hunting you. They are not actually engaging you in a humanistic way. This is one implication. The other implication, because some of the women actually over course correct and they're like, I'm just gonna go and get mine. Here's the thing. So let me tell you this. So there is this animal called the opossum and it is the only pouched animal in North America. And the reason why it has been able to exist and it's not extinct is because every time a hunter is about to catch it, it falls dead right in front of it. And the hunter actually loses interest because the chase is gone. If you are shooting your shot to a guy, you will be giving opossum energy and he will lose interest and move to something else that is actually going to, you know, require him to chase and hunt. So what does this mean? It means I want you to reframe what being approached in the wild looks like and I want you to reframe shooting your shot if that is what you've been wanting to do. There's a delicate dance here and that's what I teach my clients and if you are interested in learning about that, definitely book a call. I hope this helps.